Good afternoon, morning, or evening. I'm the Mainly Digger, and this video is about coffee. Invader Coffee Company is a brand based out of Austin, Texas. It is 100% veteran owned and operated. I love seeing other veterans be successful in whatever ventures they, they choose, either in business or in life or whatever. But I also like supporting them. I like supporting veterans. I like seeing veteran, veteran support veterans. It's an amazing coffee brand. It just is. Their coffee is just, is, it has a flavor to it without being, without it being overbearing. The, the, there is no acidic aftertaste. There is no, like, Folgers, I get that, that very coffee, like, I just call it, like, it, it's just a coffee aftertaste in my mouth. It's very acidic. This doesn't have that. This brand Invader Coffee doesn't have that taste. And it's, it's amazing, like it's, it's blown my mind, completely blown my mind. So I received it on Friday. I could smell it in my, in, my, in my mailbox. Like when I opened up my mailbox, I was like, that's coffee. And I, like, I drink a lot of coffee, but I'm not a, a coffee connoisseur. I'm not picky, I like caffeine. This coffee is, or this brand, like I said, it's, it doesn't have that acidic aftertaste. And the reason why is their process. First, their beans are from all over the world and they're, it's free trade. Or how they roast them is the reason why there is no acidic aftertaste. That it's air, air roasted. So what leaves that aftertaste is the, the roasted shell. After the, the beans are roasted, the shell is removed. So this coffee is strong without, without the acidic taste. Like that's, that's the best way to say it. You can taste, you can actually taste the coffee. This is the first coffee I've had that hasn't really been overpowering. And I love, I love the taste of coffee. I love the smell of coffee, all coffees. I'm not really, like I said, I'm not picky. This is probably one of my favorite. Like Folgers, if you have a cup of Folgers, even one cup of coffee, Folgers coffee, you will, you and everybody around you will know that you had Folgers coffee. Like you're gonna taste it for at least the whole day. Like, and you're gonna have coffee breath. It's, it just is. But this coffee is just different. It's just this isn't really an update, more of, it's kind of an update. So I contacted a, another company for Operation Reboot to see if they donate. The company is Shutterbomb, which makes smoke grenades. for videos, for photos, to, for 4th of July. For any reason, any reason. I, I, I mean, I like throwing smoke. Who doesn't like throwing smoke? Who doesn't like throwing a grenade or pulling a pin? Like the concept is, is I cannot wait. I cannot wait till they come. Anyway, contacted them. I don't, when I contact companies for donations or saying, you know, can I get this so I can do a review? I don't expect anything out of that company because that is, that's their product that they make money on. Shutterbomb said, yes, absolutely. What's your channel? What's your social medias? Sent them all that stuff. And uh, not only did they, I was only expecting one or two. They sent a lot more than that. Like a lot, lot more. So I'm, you know, maybe one or two for my channel and then the rest goes to Reboot or 
one or two, maybe three or four for my channel and the rest goes to reboot. We'll see. It is not like, I was surprised. I was surprised and I'm so thankful for any of the companies that have sent stuff to reboot for me or for reboot. Like it's the, this whole veteran supporting veterans or companies supporting veterans or veteran to own businesses is amazing. Like it's like I, I, like I said, I appreciate all, all the support. I, I like seeing veterans succeed. I like seeing other veterans succeed and do well in, in different areas in their lives and their businesses. It's a, it's a good thing. I mean, I hear, I hear a lot of stories about veterans not doing well. So when, when you see, you know, a, a lot of them succeed, it's, it's, it's a good feeling. It's, you know, it's something to look forward to. Mainly they go. As you can see, it's two different bags. This is for your cell phone or a cell phone or even could fit a small tablet maybe. Uh, this bag is, is some serious stuff. Like it's, it's, it's pretty cool. If you look, there's the material right there. It's pretty thick. This is, I mean, it's completely waterproof and uh, it's kind of awesome. I wish I was keeping it. I don't have any, I don't have a reason to keep it. I mean, maybe like, like I said, maybe going on like family trips and stuff, it protects your, your personal information and stuff like that while you're flying. But that is awesome. And that is an awesome, this is an awesome idea nice thick material anyway and it's waterproof so like if you go boating or you know anywhere that, where there's water and you have electronics this will still work so how i'm going to compare and test so what i'm going to do to uh compare the two different faraday bags between the Mission Darkness bags and the Faraday Defense bags is I'm going to use the Mission Darkness tester app on my phone. So I'm gonna press the start button, or start test, and it's going, which I mean I have everything turned on. Let me see, it's, so I'm going to put it in this bag here this is a little tighter fit than the other bag that I had. The mission. This is a little tighter fit than the uh, the mission darkness bag for the cell phone, and I would say it's probably not going to fit a tablet. But I'm going to open it up and see what my results are. You can see that little chunk of space between the yellow. That is, uh, that's the, uh, the time I put in the bag. So that's all, that's pretty cool. I mean, it just shows you what these bags can do.